Can you imagine the temperature? It's just melting there. It's all because the sun is concentrated at one point. What if you make a giant solar concentrator that will heat some gigantic object, which is in turn will heat some room? We could conduct an experiment using a giant magnifier or a few some small ones, but we decided to check out a more interesting option. Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Ficus. Today we have a great experiment. Today we'll try to make a sauna that will be heated with the help of solar energy. And before we start, I want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then click the button below and subscribe it right now. So imagine, here we have a sauna, there will be a stove, part of which will be outside, and we will need to warm it with the sun. From this side we will install a solar concentrator, which will make it ourselves. It will receive the energy of the sun and direct it to our stove. We need to make our solar constructor from several mirrors and a parabolic antenna, which we need to find now. And here's this huge parabolic thing, as I understand it is needed for the antenna, or maybe this is the antenna itself, but this is what we'll make the solar constructor from. We looked for this for a very long time and finally found it. It's really not like a conventional one, it has got a net, but that's not important because for this experiment the most important thing is the form. So here it is. Is it so light? Yes, well that's another good thing. The helm to the left, the helm to the right, well, here we have got such a parabolic antenna, as you can see it's quite big. Now our main task is to make sure that all this inner part with this deepening is mirror-like. I don't know how perfect it is because it has got such net, but I know one thing that the geometry of this thing is arranged in such a way that when it receives a signal from a satellite, then all these waves are reflected in such a way that they accumulate in the center, somewhere here. We hope that in the same way the sunlight, heat and all solar energy will be reflected, with the help of which we can and heat up our sauna. We hope that there will be such a temperature that something can be melted. Do you believe that? No. Well, that's what the experiment is about, so we'll see. You won't believe it, but we spent two days deciding what we glue our antenna with. There was a variant of simple mirrors, but we didn't like that there were very large gaps between them. Next option was a foil or foil tape, which we bought to try, but it doesn't reflect light very well, so we were afraid that this might not be enough. We thought that we would stop on the last option, this is a reflective film that which glued to the windows, we cut it out, glued it on our such a plastic base and after that we thought to glue them here, but eventually we removed this option too, because this film when it gets a little hot, it just peels off the base. So in the end we came to the conclusion that the most ideal option is a sheet of tin, from which now we'll cut out slices and glue them on our antenna. The hexagon is the ideal shape for our mirror elements because it will fit perfectly on the antenna and will have a minimum of joints. In order for us to draw it and make a stencil, we simply open this hexagon on the laptop screen and draw our figure on such a plastic base. And now it remains to just cut our stencil. I passed a double side tape on our antenna already gluing this elements and this is how it's turning out. I honestly don't believe that this design will be able to concentrate a large temperature at one point. According to our idea we can even fry something, for example eggs. Can you imagine there will be a temperature of somewhere like 200-300 degrees at one point? Do you believe that? No. Well, our antenna or rather concentrator is almost ready and we are almost ready to leave. This is our improvised stove, we are doing it on the principle of a heater. That is, there will be compartments from which, according to our idea, warm air should come out, because this side will be heated with the help of our solar concentrator. Yes, here we close it so that the air enters the sauna, this side will be outside the sauna and this side will be inside. Cool, isn't it?
So we gathered all the details in a heap and as you can see we covered our solar concentrator since we'll be going out under the sun now. So to avoid any trouble it's better to cover it well. Well guys, this experiment is unique not only in its concept, but also in the fact that we'll build it from bamboo. You're used to the fact that we constantly buy pine timber or something else in hypermarkets, but today we'll have a sauna made of real bamboo. Look how thick and big it is. How old do you think these bamboos are? I know that it grows very fast, so quickly check the information and write about it in the comments. It's really thick. Well, here we'll build our future sauna. Before building our sauna, we decided to check our concentrator and check what this thing is capable of. Damn, it's scary. Shall I remove it? Yes. Whoa, this is crazy. It's kind of getting warm. First, let's try to set this branch on fire. It's starting to smoke. Whoa, this is crazy, it burned from the sun. I want to set the stick on fire. How can the sun set fire to something? Well, let's see. Do you know what I am most scared of? Getting myself burned because I'm standing in front of the sun and waiting. It looks like it got a little darkened. Come on, light up! It seems to me there is smoke already. Well, not yet. I really see smoke. Where? Damn! It'll light up now. Are you kidding? Come on, light up! Look, there's smoke! Damn, it was about to light up. Why it's not burning? All this is done by this metal. We decided to conduct another experiment and fry some eggs. I don't know if I can fry these eggs from the sun. Show it. It's not ready yet, but almost. Of course, I had to hold it for three minutes. Never mind, need to hold it a bit more and it will be ready. So we checked our concentrator and now we can safely build a sauna. We'll make the frame of our sauna from bamboo and we'll fasten everything together in the old way with ropes. Unfortunately, our favorite screw gun is not here, so we'll work like this. For the sauna we found a nice place under such a tree where a branch covers it and it's very beautiful here. Well, our sauna is ready in half an hour. Sauna from bamboo and stretch film. Please don't judge us strictly because we were in a hurry while the sun is still out and didn't set behind these skyscrapers. We have already set and adjusted the antenna so that it is directed to our makeshift stove, which is already hot. In appearance, it may seem that this is not so, but the foil has already melted there because it doesn't withstand the temperature and it just melts down. Touch it. Do you think I'm a fool to touch it? It looks hot. Yes. Really? Can you imagine? Does it look like the sauna we make? Yes, the only minus is that the stretch film begins to melt from this temperature and you can feel this unpleasant smell. I wonder what's the temperature in our sauna? Look at it! I hope it doesn't burn it. Whoa, more than 50 degrees! 
Can you imagine sauna from the sun? Finally some fresh air. The sun has already set a little and it's not given much heat now. It was so hot there that you don't even feel what time it is now. It's unrealistically hot, it was so difficult to breathe even. This is a good day, yes, any to start the rebuilding of life. Guys, the goal of this experiment was to make a cool solar concentrator. And we did it! The sauna turned out definitely not so good, although we managed to get a steam bath, but I hope you got the main idea. Be sure to support this video with your likes! Because we tried and did it for 3-4 days. And today we did all these at 37 degrees hot temperature. We were afraid that we would miss the sun, so guys support this video with your likes, be sure to write in the comments what experiment to conduct next. Also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching! Till next Sunday! Bye! Bye. Blah, blah.